Thanks to Patty Tat sending us their handily two pet dryer for review. We will let Momo to be our tester today. And without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing and installation. The parcel came in two boxes. Uh, one is for the main unit and the other one is for the hose. It's pretty compact and you got a instruction menu when you open it up. The drying unit is compact and not too heavy. Uh, the instruction manual says it's about 2.4 kilograms, so it's roughly 6 pounds. And it has a, a handle for you to carry around. So the other box contains the hose. You can see it's, it can extend quite a bit and it's quite flexible and this is the hose rack installation is pretty straightforward just put the hose rack into the main unit and then uh, just a lock you kind of screw the one end of the hose into the unit and then you just uh, twist the hose and then you can just put it lock into the hose rack So on the side, you can see the fan filter. Just open it up, and then that's where the uh, the power cable is. Just plug it in, and then let's test it out. Press the start button. I'm always curious and come take a look. The website claim is low noise and I only have an Apple Watch to test the noise level. Not sure how accurate it is. It looks like it's in the high 70 decibel. Let's compare with the hair dryer I usually use for drying their hair. So you can see it's, it's around 90 something. Okay, let's give Momo a shower and test the unit. You can skip the showering part to later and I will put the time code in the description. use the dryer directly or put the pad inside a kennel so the heat will be more contained and speed up the overall drying time. 
What I really like about this dryer is the hands-free. So you can hold and brush simultaneously with both hands. The hose is pretty flexible so you can pretty much aim it to whatever you want. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the Handley 2 dryer. It let me free up one of my hands, which I normally need to hold the hair blow dryer. With proper brushing, what I found is the fur or the hair is a lot fluffier than before. Also, the noise level is quite a bit lower than the normal human hair dryer, so that will be easier on their sensitive ears. The dryer has three temperature settings. I use mid-level most of the time, so I can keep it really close to the skin and not worry about burning them. Momo is about 14 pounds, which took about 25 to 30 minutes to dry. The only wish list is I'm hoping they can add another one or two levels of stronger fan speeds to the unit. Otherwise, it's not suitable for large dogs, which will take a really long time to dry. To conclude it, I would recommend the dryer to owners who have small to medium-sized dogs to up their game to the next level. If you found this video helpful, remember to like and share, and you can find a coupon code in the description if you would like to purchase the unit. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.